Something of a video um, wants to know um, the cons and pros of borrowing money for your business from the bank. Say it again. Pros and cons of borrowing yeah, money from the bank. Pros and cons of borrowing money for your business from the bank. Uh, okay. So first off, a bank, understand what business they're in. They're not in the business of lending entrepreneurs money. So start with this. Have you been around for three years and have, have positive cash flow in your company? If no, you're not getting the loan, right? Not of any, any kind of size. Um, so that's a good starting point, right? I, I made this mistake. I thought banks were supposed to help entrepreneurs, right? I mean, it, from, the, from how it's sold, it sounds like, yeah, you, you start a business, you go to a bank, you get a loan, and, and you're off. That's not really how it works. Um, getting a loan is hard at the beginning because you don't have any money. You got to start paying money back. So almost always I would default to, unless you had something, a sure thing in the bank, like you have a purchase order, right? You've got somebody who wants to buy a thousand of your movement makers hats, right? As an example, but you can't fund it. You, you can't actually make it. You, you don't have enough money to create the production. So that's when you go get a loan because you're going to get that money back really quickly. Right? That's, that would be a good use of it. Um, otherwise, on speculation, your better bet is to actually just go and build a business. Um, uh, Alex today was Alex in my company, Toronto Dance Salsa. Uh, there's a bunch of businesses that have run um, GoFundMe campaigns to try to save the business. Uh, and, and TDS is struggling right now because we can't run online classes. I said, Alex, listen, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be till like end of 2021 that we can actually run live in-person classes again. And so his first thought went to, should we create a GoFundMe to help? Like a GoFundMe is not going to do anything. What, how much are you going to raise from a GoFundMe? It'll last a little bit and then you'll be in the same problem that you're in right now. The solution is you need to create a sustainable business model. We need a business model that works. So spend your effort and energy right now, not trying to create a GoFundMe account and video and marketing promotion, work on a business model that can actually be sustainable and work. So in the same respect that think about for your business, the amount of work to go get a loan, to present to the bank, to uh, prepare all the documents, to create your business plan, to do all the stuff that a bank needs that for the most part, doesn't serve you like the business plan you create for a bank is very rarely what you actually stick to and use you're creating all this extra work uh with a low likelihood of even getting anything and that time could be spent just talking to customers and building your business